Hi folks, my name is Ashton McKenzie and I'm the editor of the Sansa Chronicle. I promise you 50 big things were coming and I'm here to say that we can deliver it. Sansa became its own municipality in 1969 and we are joined today by Ivan, who's one of the original biz, um, hotel owners for the Better Liker. Ivan, would you like to tell us some history about the Better Liker? The Liker is being us in 1949 and we used to be having our 70th birthday this year. Um, I started off as a 30 bedroom country hotel with lots of bars and restaurants. And we were the only drinking hole and the only hotel in the Philip of Saint Anthony. It wasn't called Saint Anthony back in 1949. It was called Perry Urban Area, if I recall right. And then in 1969, when um, the actual Anthony was established, the like it was a hotel it was doing ex exceptionally well, being the only hotel in, in Saint Anthony. And then in 1990, 1989, we, we brought the old hotel down built a new, much new, more international hotel. And later on again in 1994, we extended the hotel to have today from 30 bedrooms, we started off back in 1949 to 2019, uh, rather, having a 330 bedroom international hotel. I felt like it was, I still recall when we first, first, first arrived here back in 1978, that people came from Grayson's Tables, that's where the Mazda Hotel has, has been built now. Close to us, they came to the Bell Lake on horseback, um, right up to 1980, probably 1879, 80, 81. It was a nice country hotel for um, um, Santa folk to come and um, have a drink at the Bell Lake. I was talking to Ashley earlier where it was a men's bar where only men used to come in to drink, and there were three or four cocktail bars where ladies were allowed to, to come in as well. Uh, interesting things that I've told them is that. Beers at those at uh, that stage back in, uh, in uh, back in the day it was 19 cents for a beer. And you want 375 milliliters. Today, when you pay for 340 milliliters, <laughs> we had a calvary outside where we served um, buttered with beef, with, um, salads, potatoes, and vegetables for 295. And um, if I recall right, crayfish crayfish was around 2 rand, 2 rand 50. A bottle of wine, um, you all remember. The famous, can I mention it? Uh, yeah. Brand name, Dunning Grand Cru, was fantastic. Maybe that's what probably the, the, before serving on blocks, I saw the 75 cents per bottle. Alvin was telling me earlier that they once had a guest many, many years ago that came and sort of never left. He stayed here for five years. We had a chap called <laughs> Alex. I remember checking in myself on Sunday afternoon late. He came from Carlton Hotel, Johannesburg. He wanted to come and stay in a nice country hotel. He checked in. Um, I was only going to check in for two days, for two days or three days, and check in for five years, check out five years later. That was the, um, that's the word, I think it was known for that. Guests, guests used to, to, to come and stay with us for not only two or three nights. I think our stay was like three or four, five, six months even. Obviously people came here and they went back to Europe and then mm. back to the States. Where, but the base was, was here. And a whopping 25 rand, I think it was, if you said a nut. The combination of what he called was somewhere around 24 rand 50. It was never, never the full 25 rand. It was 24 uh, rand 54. So that's the rich history of the Balalaika, and so much more is to come. Don't forget to follow the Sanson Turning 50 hashtag, hashtag Sanson 50, and we'll be bringing you more historical videos and places to be in Sanson.